How much fun did you just have? On a scale from one to 10, I had like 20. It's unreal, unreal. Yeah, this is crazy. Hello everybody, this is Mike here with the Chucker Hawaii Board Shop in Lahaina. We went to the boat show in Düsseldorf. We are here to number one represent Stand Up Magazine and to represent our longboards and skateboards. We're going to take you guys around the show here a little bit. There is so many exhibitors, there's windsurfing, there's kiteboarding, there is surfing on the city wave. Let's go! We are at the German Short Track Masters here with uh, Sonny doing the MC. We can do a microphone to microphone. Hi, Mike. <laughs> uh, nice to interview uh, Sonny here. Super cool. Miss Fiona is here. Very nice. Good to see you. Okay, super cool. So we just have here German Dark Horse, Paulina Herpo uh, beating uh, Fiona. I'm pretty sure we can call this as a surprise. Uh, yeah. Hast du das kommen sehen? Did you see that coming? No, I never expect that. So I'm super happy and yeah, I'm super happy about this. What was going through your mind as you were paddling down the second buoy? Also, am Anfang war es richtig gut. Ich hatte einen echt guten Start und beim zweiten Mal ist Fiona mir ja durch die Füße gegangen. Aber ich habe es irgendwie trotzdem noch hinbekommen und äh, ich war, ich habe gar nicht gedacht, es geht so schnell, du kannst gar nicht nachdenken. Also du bist einfach nur paddeln, paddeln, paddeln. So she is super stoked and uh, just paddling down that second buoy, there was definitely a little tight affair and um, yeah, just super stoked and in awe. So congratulations and I'm pretty sure uh, that's a name that we will remember in the future. <laughs> Uh, you uh, had to fight your way against the German dark horse here. Uh, what was going through your head as you were chasing him down? Well, I, I had my eyes on Ole all morning. I've known him for a few years now and I've just seen him get faster and faster every single year. And I know this is exactly his format. So I kept looking at where his weaknesses were and I realized that that last buoy there was sometimes left it a little bit too open so I could sneak in underneath and, you know, kind of do it. But he's strong now and it's not just the strongest paddler that's going to win, but still got to play it smart. and. Thankfully it worked today. Uh, this is year number two for me here at Boot Show, so I got to do this one last year and uh, it's pretty cool to be indoor racing and having everyone right there, like a little pebble throw away and um, it's a lot of fun. 
We get to be able to showcase what we do right here in the middle of the city at the Boot Dusseldorf Boat Show. Awesome. All right, welcome to the warm up uh, for the Sub Wave Masters. We have Mr. Sane here going against uh, German SUP City Wave Elite. I want to see some. I can't wait to see the action here, it's going to be epic. Loved it. I mean, I learned so much about this wave, and it's crazy to think about. It's like reverse surfing. You know, you accelerate going up the face, and you decelerate going down. Um, it's unreal, unreal. Like I totally suck at it, but I feel like every single wave I'm progressing. On the percent, every single wave. It's amazing. I feel like a beginner again, but it's the best feeling in the world because like you're learning something all the time. Yeah, this is crazy. We saw Casper. I never saw a guy he learned on a surf river a wave like that so quick. Yeah. Different styles from Zane and from Bern. Yeah, it's amazing. Coming back to Dusseldorf is just such a fun experience, and I was really happy when I got invited back. And um, yeah, I had a ton of fun surfing, started connecting, just like, you know, turn, backside, frontside, all that. And once you get into a rhythm, it's so fun. 2019, hope to be here. Well, second time to boot Dusseldorf show, and it's so awesome to feel so much hospitality and aloha from all the Germans here. And uh, every time we come out here, I feel like we're super valued and super appreciated. And as an athlete, that's all we could ask for. We love to be able to inspire our people around us and uh, be able to share with the people around us. And you know, I, I truly am personally inspired by all my competitors and, and everyone who supports me. So this is your win too. If, thank you guys for all the aloha and support. And uh, hopefully you guys keep on pushing your dreams. We'll see you in the water. All right. All right. So, yeah, epic show here. And uh, hopefully we're going to uh, meet some people and uh, have some interviews. So uh, stay with us as we're uh, roaming the hallways here. I just happened to run into Mr. Casper. What's up, Mike? What's up, guys? Nice to see you. Um, hey, uh, first time at this boat show. This is my very first time here at the Boot in uh, Dusseldorf. Boot. I love the name and awesome. uh, I love the fair. Cool. You know, I really like it because what the boat show does is really just brings together a lot of different water sports and uh, I love the activities we've had so far with racing in the pool and uh, the artificial city wave up there has had a lot of action on it. So, you know, it's really just been a lot of fun hanging out and getting to talk and connect with people. How do you compare the Paris Nautique with this event? Well, they're, they're both great events, you know, coming, I've never been here before and I, what strikes me special about Dusseldorf is there's so many activities. Like there's always something happening on the regular pool, whether it's uh, wakeboarding, 
and stand up paddling and foiling. But what's cool about the, the Dusseldorf show is you also have the artificial wave here. Roaming uh, the, um, the halls and the endless halls of the boot, I mean boat show, boat show. We were getting confused here lately with Mr. Burnt over here and Casper. But uh, running into the man himself here, Mr. Robbie Nash. Um, how's your experience over the weekend? It's been really good. Um, you know, I used to come to the boat every year year after year after year in the 80s and the early 90s and haven't been back here in quite a while mm -hmm. and uh, with the changes that they're making and you know with the two action pools and everything it was uh, time to come back it was a good weekend i love the new format with the kind of village you know uh, scenario but the main thing is having the the cable pool on this side yeah. where they're doing the windsurf freestyle stuff and wakeboarding and getting kids in there and learning and you know, some interactive engagement sport touching it. And then this one with the City Wave where, you know, not only are they having the contest with Barrett and the boys this weekend, but the surfers next weekend. So many people and uh, there's two guys having lunch. We just spoke to Casper and uh, now we have uh, Mr. Byrne. Just tell us real quick um, how your um, experience here particularly with the wave that was something new and something unique oh it's been so amazing uh, when I first got here it absolutely blew my mind to actually see it in person see what was going on see it actually being built and then uh, to serve it the first time I was so confused oh my gosh it was so bizarre um, it felt like you're kind of accelerating away from the wave um, but then yeah after some time getting used to it and I was having so much fun doing it I was it really is like such a unique thing to have this city wave and yeah, I'm stoked to be a part of it. Uh, back next year? For sure. Also see more boats. Next, next year we're going to buy a bigger boat. Oh yeah, next year we're going to get a yacht. Yeah, count me in. For sure.